it's been talking about my concerns about prejudice and hatred and how hatred is dividing our societies. This is a really important event and uh, I tell you, this is Leicester. Everybody working together, trying to understand what's happening. In terms of pushing and doing something, it felt good. The complacency in organisations because suddenly we're into diversity, we've got an equality policy, we've got strategies, we've got all these things and it looks rosy but within a year it's gone because people have taken their eyes off the prize. It's left to someone else. Even in football, I can tell you. You know, you go into a boardroom if you manage to get through the door and they will tell you, yeah, 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 yeah. We, it's all happening. You ask them what is happening, they haven't got a clue. There is a very disappointing message at the end of it that we have lost the agenda on, on race and we need to re-energise it and do some more. Fear is central in the thoughts of those people who are apprehensive and suspicious about people who are different from themselves. You don't like me, I, you don't dress like me, you don't speak like me, you don't eat like me, you don't live like me. It brings to the fore these notions of superiority and inferiority. That has always been right at the heart of the struggle for equality and justice. There are people who are attacking people from their same communities. It's not something that happens unless there is distrust, ignorance, etc., which he said. So I think, you know, it means I've got to do my job a little better. <laughs> Last week, seeing the letter published by the bishops to David Cameron, urging him to think again about the numbers of refugees he's prepared to accept into the country. And that's, that's a form of moral leadership, uh, of speaking out, but it also needs to be backed up. And today, you've made me angry. And I'm thanking you for that. Because like many of us here, we've been chipping away at the edges. We've been trying to make a little incremental difference. You know, if you demand of us integration, we demand it of the white enclaves. We demand it of there are many, many white areas which are where the richest people live that have never seen black people. Let them be the ones to integrate. Don't keep asking black and minority people to integrate. Let's ask more people to do the very same citizenship tests that, that black and minority people who come into this country do and see if they pass it. Let's also ask them to do some English tests and see if they pass it. My view today is to let people know that we've got to get the, the powerful institutions to change and to challenge leadership to take it on in order that we can stand tall and stand and help to build the next generation free from prejudice, bigotry, hatred, so that they could stand up to the races.